In California, if it's under $1,000 worth of goods taken, it's a misdemeanor. And so there are some who argue that by having that law in place, it just doesn't put a stop to this. Is that the case in all these cities? Is that part of this? Poppy, I think it is. And, you know, the litmus test there is where is this happening? And you're seeing this kind of, uh, you know, looting happening. I mean, uh, shoplifting and organized retail theft happen in uh, places like New York, Los Angeles, Philadelphia. Um, If you look at where Target closed nine stores yesterday, four stores in San Francisco, stores in Seattle, stores in Portland, stores in New York, Um, These are places where bail reform laws, criminal justice reforms have taken the inside of a jail cell out of the equation. So shoplifting is a crime where a judge can't set bail. Think about this. In New York City, there are just over 300 people who have between them 4,000 arrests. 70% of them are not in jail, and they account for 30% of all shoplifting in New York. This is actually their job. They go out to steal every day. And that has gone up significantly because they know getting put in jail is not in the equation any longer because of the laws that say it's a no bail offense and DA's policies are they don't want people in custody for what they call nonviolent crimes.